Hi everyone, the following slide presentation will provide information about the HIV virus, how many people have it, how it affects the body, how it is transmitted, and some recommendations for prevention and treatment. First, we need to look at sexually transmitted infections, or STIs, in young Americans. You will also see the term sexually transmitted diseases, or STDs, often used. There are subtle differences, but the acronyms STIs and STDs are often used in the same way. Young people between the ages of 15 and 24 years old account for 50% of all the new STI cases each year. Unique factors that place youth at risk for STIs are not enough screening, concerns about confidentiality, lack of access to health care, and multiple sex partners. Young women's bodies are more susceptible to infections because the cells in their reproductive systems are not mature yet. Young people experience sexually transmitted bacterial infections like gonorrhea and chlamydia and viral infections such as HPV and herpes. This presentation will focus on the virus HIV. So, how many people have HIV in the United States? It is estimated that 1.1 million people had HIV at the end of 2016. Of those, about 1 in 7 did not know that they had it. In 2018, almost 38,000 people were diagnosed with HIV. Now you may be wondering, what is HIV? HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. It is a virus that attacks the immune system. The immune system's job is to fight off germs and other bacteria that can make you sick. People who have HIV can get sick easily and have a hard time fighting off viruses and other illnesses. Eventually, HIV can progress to AIDS, which stands for Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. HIV is the virus, and AIDS is what the virus can lead to. A person with AIDS is open to many deadly diseases called opportunistic diseases. Because their immune system is weak, they can't fight off these illnesses. People with AIDS can develop pneumonia and even cancer. How do you get the HIV virus? HIV is passed through the exchange of intimate bodily fluids from an infected person. There are a few myths that need to be cleared up. HIV is not passed through saliva, urine, sweat, or the air. HIV is transmitted through sexual intercourse or genital contact, which would allow the sharing of bodily fluids, including blood, semen, preseminal fluid, rectal fluid, and vaginal fluids. HIV can also be transmitted by sharing a needle with an infected person during IV drug use or from an accidental needle stick. HIV can also be passed from a mother to her baby through breast milk. The HIV virus has three stages and many can live without symptoms for a long time. They may not even know that they are HIV positive. There are three stages. Stage one is called acute HIV infection. Within two to four weeks after infection with HIV, about two thirds of people will have flu-like illnesses, fever, chills, rash, night sweats. This is the body's natural response to HIV infection. In stage two, called clinical latency, the virus still multiplies, but at very low levels. People in this stage may not feel sick or have any symptoms. Without HIV treatment, people can stay in this stage for years, even 10 to 15 years, but some move through this stage faster. Stage three is called AIDS, Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. In a person with HIV who is not being treated, the virus will eventually weaken the body's immune system and it will progress to AIDS. It is very important to understand how to prevent getting HIV and other STIs. The only 100% effective way to avoid sexually transmitted infections in HIV is to not have sex. That includes vaginal, anal, and oral sex. Remember, not having sex is the best way to prevent getting HIV. However, if you are sexually active, you can do the following things to lower your chances of getting STIs and HIV. 
You can choose less risky sexual activities. For example, anal intercourse shows the highest risk, especially for the receiving partner. Using a new condom for every act of vaginal, anal, and oral sex throughout the entire sex act from start to finish. Using a condom will reduce the risk of HIV by about 85%, but will not eliminate the risk. The effectiveness of condoms for other STIs is even lower. If you are sexually active, reduce the number of people who you have sex with. Limit or eliminate drug and alcohol use before and during sex. Being under the influence can affect your ability to make and carry out decisions to protect or prevent exposure. Have an honest and open talk with your healthcare provider and ask whether you should be tested for STIs or HIV. Find out if PrEP, pre-exposure medications, would be a good option for you. There is no known cure for HIV or AIDS, but people with HIV can take medicine to slow down the progression of the disease. There are some new treatments which are showing great promise to helping those who have HIV to live healthier and longer lives. There is much excitement and hope these days for those who have been infected with HIV because of the improvements in treatments available. A combination of drugs that is showing promise is antiretroviral therapy, or ART. ART can keep a person healthy by reducing the viral load, which is the amount of the virus in the blood and body fluids, to a very low level. After at least six months of treatment, it has been shown to reduce the chance of transmitting the HIV virus. However, it should be noted that ART does not work for other sexually transmitted infections. A common question we are often asked is about the law and HIV. Michigan law still requires that a person living with HIV notify a sex partner of their HIV status prior to having sex. If a person is sexually active, it is important to know if they are HIV positive. How do you know if you have HIV? The only way to know if you have HIV is to get tested. Most people with HIV do not have symptoms, although they may feel like they have the flu at the beginning. So you need to be tested in order to know. An HIV test is done by drawing a sample of someone's blood or through a finger prick. It can also be tested through saliva or urine. People used to have to wait weeks for their results, but now we have rapid testing that can tell them their results within the same day. There are several different places you can get tested for HIV. You can start with your own doctor or call the Kent County Health Department to get tested. There are other clinics in the community, such as the Pregnancy Resource Center, where you can also get free or no cost testing and treatment. You can also go online to look up these different options. You can go to gettested.cdc.gov to find testing options in your community. Here is what the CDC Get Tested website may look like for you. Thank you for viewing this presentation. We hope this information was helpful and we hope that you stay healthy.